division with a one-digit divisor. We're going to do example two on page 66 of Kojima. This is 837 divided by 3 equals 279. So following an earlier note, we're going to set the divisor th 3 on rod A. We're going to set the dividend 837 on rods F, G, and H. We could also have set the dividend first and the divisor afterwards. In either case, we are leaving four vacant rods between the divisor and the dividend. So we're going to divide the digits of the dividend, 8, 3, and 7, in that order starting from the left. So in this case, the order of operations for Soroban division are almost identical to those we use for longhand division on paper. Whereas in the case of multiplication, the steps were all the same, but the order was quite different. So we're going to then divide the 8 by 3, and we're going to make use of mental arithmetic. So we need to know that 8 divided by 3 is a 2 with 2 left over. So we have to uh, take the integer part of this uh, division. 8 divided by 3 is 2 with the remainder, and set that uh, quotient, uh, partial quotient, 2 on rod D. Now, just a word about looking forward here. Uh, we know that our quotient is going to be 279, so it has three digits. But even if we didn't know that already, we could kind of figure out that uh, this quotient is going to have three digits. If the first digit in the dividend, the 8, was actually smaller than 3, then instead of three digits, there'd only be two. So we don't have to be too clever to see there are going to be three digits in the quotient. So when we put the two, the first digit of the quotient on rod D, we're then going to need rods E and F to complete the quotient. And rod F is already busy with the first digit of the dividend. So if we wanted to, we could have left more space. But this is going to work out OK, because by the time the quotient goes to the right and intersects the dividend, some of the dividend rods will have been cleared. That's, that's the idea of starting in the right place with the first digit of the quotient, the 2. OK? So now, uh, in the next step, we uh, have the quotient 2 on rod D, the second rod to the left of 8 in 837. If we multiply the divisor 3 by the quotient figure 2, uh, and then this subproduct is 6, we subtract the 6 from the 8 on rod F. And that leaves 2 on rod F. And of course, that is the remainder after dividing the 8 by the 3. We get the quotient of 2 and the remainder of 2. And now we can see both, the, uh, both of these 2s on rods uh, D and F. OK? So that's a kind of a partial clearing of that first rod of the dividend. Now, we look at the two rods, F and G, uh, and we see there the next uh, problem for division, and that is the 23. We want to divide the 23 by 3. And again, we use mental arithmetic. We have to be able to do this, that 23 divided by 3 is a 7 with a remainder of 2, because 3 times 7 is 21. So we'll set the 7 
as the quotient figure on rod E. So that's moving to the right from the first digit of the divide of the quotient, the 2 on rod D. Now we take the next rod to the right and we put this uh, quotient 7 on rod E. So no collision yet with the dividend. Now we subtract the 21, that's 3 times 7, from the 23 on rods F and G. And this leaves 2 on rod G. Okay? So our next problem of division is to look at the two digits on rods G and H, and that's 27. Now we have to try to divide the 27 by 3, again using mental arithmetic. And 27 actually is exactly 3 times 9. So we're going to put 9, the quotient on rod F, which is the third and final digit of the quotient. Uh, and now, just to be careful, we're going to subtract the 3 times 9 is 27 on the rods G and H. And that leaves nothing there. So the dividend has been completely cleared. And in this case, there was no further uh, remainder after the division. And we read off the quotient on rods D, E, and F. That's 279. Okay?